praise the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, a man called me one year ago. That time the world were in the starting point of COVID and he asked me Father, how are you? And we were discussing some matters. After that, I told him that, Dear brother, you depend on God. That is the greatest solution for all our problems and also in this pandemic situation. Then he told me that, Father, since you are a priest, you can tell that you depend on God fully. But as we are leading a family life, in our style of way, in our family life, we need money. That is the important thing in our life. Without money, without the prestige, without the power, we can live in the family, we can live in the society. And I told him that, okay, take care, be safe. The same man recently called me and he shared some of his views then he said father a year ago you told me that you depend on God and now I understood that this is the situation we only depend on God. That is the important thing in family life as well as in the community life. Because even though we have money, but that is not the solution for our sickness. Even though we have the prestige, we have the power, but still, that is not the solution for development of our life. What is the solution? The primary source, the ultimate source is none other than God. So he experienced that. It's only God can protect us. It is only God can help us in our day to day life. And as we are human beings, we do not know what will happen tomorrow but God knows everything hallelujah praise the Lord dear friends letter of Hebrews chapter 2 verses 15 see to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble and through it many become defiled. See, Jesus says, no one fails to obtain the grace of God. That is the thing we have to remember in our mind. We always keep, we always save with the grace of God. If we lose the grace of God, we lose everything. So, even though we are staying, we are living in this challenging period, in this pandemic situation, still there is a plan for God and we have to obey, we have to surrender before Lord's hand 
for that we should keep touch with the god and all we know that in this situation we cannot go to church regularly sometimes we cannot go to church for certain spiritual activities still that is true and we have to follow the rules and regulations of the government but if there are set of obstacles because of some rules but still we have to think that if one obstacle is there we have certain other possibilities and opportunities to be in touch with the god in a family we call together each other we gather together each other and we pray to god then we receive the grace from god even though we cannot attend eucharist celebration physically but still we can see through our lives we use the possibilities we use the opportunities which we have now dear friends first peter chapter 5 verses 8 discipline yourselves keep alert like a roaring lion your adversary the devil prowls around looking for someone to devour looking for someone to devour we have to be aware that satan is always behind so what we have to think we have to aware we have to listen the word of god and we always be in touch with the god always we are free still we have the opportunities we have the possibilities whether we have to be in touch with jesus or not dear friends in our last judgment jesus will speak to each one of us book of revelation chapter 2 verse 4 but i have this against you that you have abandoned the love you had at first remember then from what you have fallen repent and do the works you did at first if not i will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent dear friends make use of your opportunities which give the way to be in touch with jesus and make the aware that which is good for my life which is not good for my life so choice is ours and god gives us many possibilities and opportunities take positive think positive even though we are in a struggled period still god has planned for each one of us for our family for our society for this world let us pray to god lord have mercy upon each and every one of us may lord bless each and every one of you god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit